Crime reporter Henry Lee live now in Oakland with the latest on the story. Henry. These are kids, three girls, six boys, the youngest suspect, only 12 years old. Oakland police say this group is responsible for a lot of robberies all over the city, including in Grand Lake. They're also suspected of robberies in El Cerrito and Piedmont. These are some of the nine juveniles arrested by Oakland police in connection with 32 robberies in Oakland, two in Piedmont, and one in El Cerrito. You can tell his sons just by the way they walk in, man. God. Duh, like eight. <laughs> juveniles arrested by Oakland police in connection with 32 robberies in Oakland, two in Piedmont, and one in El Cerrito. Police say three girls and six boys are in custody. They range in age from 12 to 17. I've learned they've been linked to Sunday's robbery of a 63-year-old woman at Rock Ridge Market Hall. The victim was pushed to the ground, robbed and attacked outside this flower shop at... <laughs> Look at this area. This area was just peaceful. There's no litter on the ground. No, they, they no just son. come. No son. <laughs> Victim was pushed to the ground, robbed and attacked outside this flower shop at College and Shafter. The robbery happened in Oakland City Council Member Dan Calves' district. It's bad enough that you're uh, robbing people and taking their property. That, that's still a violent crime. But when you're unnecessarily kicking and, and pushing and hurting them physically when you don't even have to, that's that's it's weird. It's sick. The Oakland police helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, tell, yeah. hey oh, tell me he 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 knows the son. Tell me yeah, he, he knows, knows the son. He know he knows it, but he <laughs> knows he does not say it. He does not say it, and that's why. And that's the thing. Like we got you by the balls. Like you can't say like black people are sick. <laughs> they they come take an old lady's purse. Oh, they man. got her purse, and instead of just running away, they fucking curb stomp the fucking old lady and shit. <laughs> it's like, and they're kids. Like, they're little kids curb Stop stomping the me. old lady in public. Look, they're beating the shit out of an old lady right here. <laughs> Just think about it. <laughs> the balls. The kahunas on these people. You're just sitting there. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> balls and shy, you know. Yeah, you said it many times before. They don't care. They don't give a fuck, and they know they don't have to care either. Because so, so, some, like if they in Arabian countries and in Sandman countries and in Obrido countries, they have to care. So they care. Yeah, they'll beat the shit your ass. They care in in in, in the sand countries. Go, they go. To, they don't do this shit in sand countries. You won't see them. Be the snatching no woman's burger off and beating her ass in public. They don't do that <laughs> no, shit no. in the sand country. Hell, they no. do that shit here. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do that in the sand countries because they wouldn't exist anymore if they did. Right. They know here they can beat up an old white lady in, in front of all these people, and 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 nothing to happen to them. Was pushed to the ground, robbed and attacked outside this flower shop at College and Shafter. The robbery happened in Oakland City Council member Dan Calves' district. It's bad enough that you're robbing people and taking their property. That, that's still a violent crime. But when you're unnecessarily kicking and, and pushing and hurting them physically when you don't even have to, that's, that's it's weird. It's sick. The Oakland police helicopter Argus tracked the teen's Hyundai Santa Fe to a smoke shop near Lake Merritt. Five teens went into the store and were taken into custody. The SUV then took off. Four other teens were arrested after a foot chase in the East Lake neighborhood. I saw a person like push a woman to the ground. Even with arrests, though, Oakland police were busy investigating a fresh robbery Tuesday morning in the parking lot of the Safeway on Fruitvale Avenue in the Diamond District. A woman was knocked down and robbed of her Gucci purse. I did see like a man with the bag just run away and go into a car and drive and drive off. Across town, merchants gathered outside the Fruitvale Public Market to demand cameras and more attention by the city. They say they too deserve protection, not just wealthier parts of the city. The plaza has been hit by a number of recent shootings, including one at another market just steps from the Fruitvale BART station. There's always going to be violence, there's always going to be crime, but in the long term, how can we as, as business owners and residents of, of, of Fruitvale how can we make this area a more vibrant area? OPD has agreed to increase visibility and work on uh, more kind of walking officers and patrols so there's more visibility in the neighborhoods. There, these people are gathered here 
these fucking adult business owners are gathered here because it's a fucking 12 and 13 year old. Segregation, man. Yeah. I, what could solve this, or so at least solve 70% of this, is if you have the evidence at their first hearing, you go straight to a, a conviction with lashings. And you get one lashing for every punch and kick that you do against somebody. And that would stop this real quick. I'm telling no, five you, lashings for mandatory. A crime like this, robbery, stomping out an old lady in the fucking middle of a fucking strip mall. Man, mandatory 25 lashes. 25 lashes. And, um, and man, nip this shit in the bud. The howling will be heard. Man, I had them little kids howling. They'll be heard in the next county. Yeah! Like, you will hear that shit. By, <laughs> and man, you will hear that shit. That shit will, shot spotters will go off. Fucking Richter scales will go off. I had them little kids howling. <laughs> Man, listen, man. The glass will be breaking. Eh, shit, man. Listen, man. That right there would nip this shit in the bud. And you make him watch. Like, you you next. You watching him get his 25, and you're next. And then all of them lined up. And you get to see what it's like and, and know that you're next. Man, that a nip this shit in the bud, Jack. I and you know what? Me. It might straighten some of them out and actually help them be successful later in life. Oh yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt, without a doubt. Somebody said, "Put them to work." Nah, putting the work ain't putting the work. Um, is 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 it it it, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna dip this in the bud. Putting them to work is just going to be like uh, the whip. You just got to pay for the whip, and you got to pay for the, the the cuffs to hold them up, <laughs> and you got to and, and and you have a prisoner on work release. Like it could be like work get get guys from the jail and and and, and part of their work release or their um you know prison program is that they they they, they um they they whip these kids and um. Man, I'm telling you, man, that thing sliced through that air. Pow! You no, know you got 24 more? Man, listen, man, never again, man. No, man. And never, that whip is the that whip is the solution, man. A and you know whip. what? They'll actually be happier because, oh my, we actually have limits. Without exactly. limits, they just go wild with limits to be like, dang, this is this is actually fun. We can actually have fun and not not cause problems and have fun. I don't have to worry about my life being ended all the time. And I don't have to worry about peer pressure because I can just tell them hell no. Because like now when there's no consequences, peer pressure is crazy. Come on, let's do this carjacking. No man, I don't want to do that stuff. Oh, you what you scared of, man? Ain't that gonna happen, man? We if we get locked up, man, we'll be out the next day. To they're gonna fucking whip me to with an inch of my life in front of some other sun teens, and I'm after fucking be howling like a fucking I'm be shrieking like a fucking guinea pig getting slaw eaten by an eagle or some shit. Like you just gonna be like the the blood curdling yelps and <laughs> screeches and screams are enough to turn other sons away. Like just that aren't that aren't even in line that are just in the vicinity. Like oh shit, I don't want that, man. Um, I'm telling you, that's the only thing that'll work, man. I'm talking about. I mean, pow. I mean, bring that thing back from back here with it. Bring it back from back here. And throw it forward, and then it got that coil, and then pow! That motherfucker, <laughs> that motherfucker snapped back. 
Yeah, that snap back, that inertia. Pow! <laughs> and that will nip all. No, I, think, I think three. I think three would be good enough, man. Yeah, three would be kill. good, but twenty-five. Listen, twenty-five <laughs> to just make it so. Because some kids are bad. They bad to the bone. They'll they could take three. Some kids, not not all of them, very few would can take three. Twenty five makes it to where you'll have black kids starting study halls. They'll be getting <laughs> together after school and shit and making their own study halls. I'll be in the Indian kids. <laughs> yeah, you'll be like, yo, where are the black kids at? They be, I know they at the library. <laughs> Like, what they down there doing on the internet? No, nah, man, they in a study hall. They got a study hall. They down there doing calculus <laughs> and shit. Geometry and chemistry, man. <laughs> like 25, yeah, 25. I know it's, I know it's, it, 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 you might you might kill one of them with the 25, but I'm telling you, man, if you won't have to worry, you won't have to whip them. Not you know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> like an saying. example. You got to give yeah. like one example. If you give like, them right. three, you'll be whipping them all the time, man. If you give them 25, you'll whip, <laughs> you'll, you'll whip a couple and out of me. You don't have to whip them no more, man. And especially if they know 25 mean 25. Yeah. Like, yeah, like at 23, the motherfucker dead, you still hit the last two times, you know you're dead. Yeah, man. That type shit. You you save a lot of kids. A lot of you wouldn't have to whip no kids, man. It'll, be, it'll just be like, yo, kid, black kids would be polite. Hi, hi, sir. How are you doing, <laughs> sir? Can I help you across the street? They would have helped that old lady across the street, man. They would have robbed that old lady, man. You be sir, riding to the gas drunk. station. You be going to the gas station. Sun teams run up on you. Hey, sir, I'm looking at your back tire. It looks a little... um. Like it's a little flat, man. Um, I'll, I'll just pull up over here and I'll fill it up with the machine. 